Chris Berman. Well, let's get straight to the action. In our first game this week, we had the Titans walk away with a commanding 19-point win. We had a big injury in this one, and Trey has the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Chris, thanks. Luckily, we had a relatively injury-free week, which makes my job just that much easier. This guy is arguably the biggest name on this list, and you can tell from the expression on his face it was a bad one. A ruptured Achilles, and he'll be out for the rest of the regular season. There's a chance, however, they'll get him back for the playoffs. So that'll do it for now. Chris, let's send it back to you. Devery Henderson stepped it up this week and gave his team some added firepower for the win. Peyton Manning threw for over 200 yards and helped his Colts beat the Giants. Cardinals, Falcons. This Colt, Michael Turner, is just thinking, let's get out of the shadow of our own goal line. There's a first down. What shadows? The only shadows are the fenders behind him. He could go all the way. A 98-yard run. The Falcons go on to win this by the final score of 26 to 12. In San Diego, right by Coronado Bay, we had the Chargers come away with a seven-point win. Over in Raljon, Maryland, we had the Redskins come away with a seven-point win. In a long-standing AFC rivalry, we had the Patriots pick up win number two. Eagles, Lions. A win number Cops is always a double threat in the red zone at the five-yard line. There's a snap, and in the slot, the back, quickly in the end zone for six. The Eagles win this one by the final score of 31-17. to The Vikings got 300-plus yards from their offense in their victory at the HHH Metrodome. The Broncos lost at home and will stay home for next week's game when they meet the Colts. Number 82 stepped it up this week and gave his team some added firepower for the win. Rams, Raiders. Added camp at the five-yard line. Tight end might be a good place to look. And the Raiders win this one by the final score of 40 to 28. Chad Johnson pulled down 100-plus receiving yards and helped his Bengals beat the Ravens. In the gentle climbs of the Carolinas, we had the Panthers win this one to the tune of 13 points. Down in Texas Stadium, we had the Cowboys come away with a 7-point win. And last but not least, we had the Packers come away victorious. So, two weeks into the books here at ESPN, here's my prime time performers for week number two, and each is going to get a game ball. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studios. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.